I'm heading over here to the snow heat call. Gonna check it out, see what's going on. Hopefully it's something easy. I'm in and out, you never know. Well, let's see what's happening. No heat, warm day. Let's see. Oop, and I tripped flu switch. Could it be, could it be? I heard it make a noise. Maybe not. Couldn't be that easy. Out of the door. Uh, a water if you have it. Oh, that's okay. Am I your last job for today? Yeah. In Waldwick. In Waldwick. Not too far. Yeah. It's a nice town. We should have zero for voltage. Uh, right over here on the zone valve. Well, where the thermostat ties into my aquastat. Oh, no call for AC. Zone valve moves freely. Should be making Put them together, jump out, the end switch. Okay, so we're on now. Boiler has started. I gotta wait for this to time before it does anything, about 30 seconds. So you must have jammed this open. Look, it's sitting there. So let's see what is, I can't get my head there. I have a, what's the purge? I can't read it from this angle. Um, trial ignition, 30 seconds, I think is what it says. I can't read it. We'll see. You guys can see it, I can't. <laughs> See, 90 second trial for ignition. I can't read it, whatever. But that means it probably sparks 90 seconds. I forget, it's been so long. That power here, let's see. That doesn't, does not need to be reset. Uh, roll out down here. Doubt that tripped, that'd be bad. Spark, you'd have some spark. But I wish there was a light on this, but there isn't. Here is another spot that could be a problem. Oftentimes a solder joint on these don't last. Nope. All right, so now what I gotta check is the burner section in the back. So, make sure I got power coming off to my burner section. Everything in here is good. Should have 24 volts coming out of here. Boom. Put that right in that screw. And then right, oh yeah, power. So it's just, I'm slipping off, but there's power. So 
tape. All right, so that means power is coming out. My control circuit is coming to my ignition module, the gray and the black. So get it in to here and here. And I have zero. All right, I have a rollout. I have a flame rollout. And I have a spill switch. So I hit the reset on the other one. So let's start down here. This will give me 25 if it's open. No. This will give me the same 25 if it's open. One side. Oh, bad switch. I put it here. That doesn't reset. Let's see. Oh, the switch is getting weak. There we go. And we're off. All right, I'm gonna order a new rollout switch. Switch was getting weak up there. Can't have that. But I also have a zone valve I gotta swap out. That rollout switch is what caused the problem of at least the heat not turning on. I still have my end switch jumped out. So now, up over here, still swinging open, and it goes right off. Bad end switch. All right, those are my end switches over here. My reds are here. Yep, those are the ones going. Where are they? Let's see. These reds are going. Yeah. Okay, after I twist it around quite a bit. Yeah, so that's it. All right, so first thing first, boiler off. Deal with the wires once. Oh wait, no, this is a hex. So let's go with the flat. It's always fun. I can move the chimney, but I don't want to deal with that. Always oh, so much fun. I like it when they're easy to get to. And I could unsweat and replace the whole body, but what's the point? a lot of added labor there we go okay now the back one you guys get a better show than me i can't see it i just know it's around here somewhere hopefully i'm moving it I can't see it, so I'm just switching to the best. Not the first, not the last. I'll be changing one like this. Let's make sure it's open before I do anything. Lock it. Okay, it's locked. There we go. I feel it. And let's loose. That's loose. Now we're off. Hold on there. Okay. That came off. 
with it. I gotta remove this. Okay, so let's pop this on. Now, start this one, which is the easy one. I'll tighten it a little more once I got this one that I can't see in. I don't care if you can't see it, tighten it. It'll strip gears if it's not on all the way. Because then it'll skip sometime. Hopefully I'm doing it, I can't tell. Like before I felt it grab. Or I could be turning it and it's not even in the hole. I should just move the chimney. Oh, I gotta go straight. Gotta go straight in or it won't happen. I think I caught this time. All right. Hopefully it wasn't going the wrong way. Creating all that problems myself. Now I just gotta wire the end switch. These are my motor wires. Thermostat one side, common the other. Thermostat brings the zone valve, forces to open. When that opens, two red wires in my end switch, this turns on the boiler. There's a little switch on the side here. I can't get my finger, I can't see it to push it. Or is it on this side? No, it's on that side. But it's a little tiny switch somewhere in here. That the metal bar comes over, pushes it in. I could see it, I could probably push it, I just can't. So I'm just gonna wire that real fast. Clip. 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 Out of my way. Right here is that end switch, it's not making this would come down and push on that just for whatever reason it wasn't making. So let's fire it up, see what happens. As you can see, thermostat's on. So this is driving down, we're now on. Boiler is on. That's the only zone on right now. Then it brought the boiler on. Reds are not jumped, they're separate. There's the burner, success. I'm not to come back for that, I don't have it on my truck. The reason this tripped is it's 75 degrees outside or 74 degrees, and this boiler is set for 76 or 77 degrees. And well, when you have a downdraft in your chimney sometimes at the beginning of the season, that's going to happen. So, till next time, I'm out. But this, my customer really likes to heat warm. So, I try to say, don't run it when it's warmer outside than it is inside. Try not to run your heat, unless it's really cold. Then you have no choice.